Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach how to upload a uh, Excel file and then view the Excel file in grid view. First of all, I will show the demonstration first. So, I have the Excel file uh, like book 1. This is the header of the uh, first row. First row, I am using the header of the uh, my uh, Excel file and after that I am using the uh, data into in records like ok now I am run the project here sorry sorry so first of all I am trying to run the project here so choose just I am choosing the bookmark one so before that I am remove the all the debug modes here just go to keyword oh no debug mode ok now I am choose the book and click upload file and read it successfully ok guys now I will teach how to make that ok first I will teach that ok now click the design view here I am declaring the one uh, file uploader file uploader you can find here file upload ok just click the file upload and I am uh, renaming the id to file upload ok and with I am using the 300 pixel and server ok after that I am using the button one upload button and text and I ha ha have the and click event for the button click event and validation group I am using V G and with should be I am using uh, 99 pixel here uh, and so you can see the designs also here this is uh, uploader file uploader this is file upload button this is the message button and message label this is the grid view here I am using the grid view for uh, by default three columns is sh here showing don't worry about that because he is randomly comes here how many columns in your uh, excel file it will create automatically ok here label I am using the IBL LBL message and grid view I am using grid view 1 and server uh, empty records is will be show the no record found like that and the height I am using the 25 pixel uh, row style I am using the width uh, width uh, 175 I am empty data row style and using those styles section ok now I am going to the coding part now first view code I will teach all the code first you have to declare this for functions uh, for uh, library functions so system dot data dot oldb oldb so oldb db why are we are using uh, because we are declaring oldb connections and uh, oldb uh, command or anything we have oldb command oldb data adapter we are using that time we are declaring for, for that purpose we are declaring the oldb after that we are creating the system dot configuration why we are using the system dot configuration we are co using the configuration manager that time we need to declare the uh, system dot configuration we will explain uh, explain la later on this project ok after that I am declaring IO IO object so we need to call path and all that time you are we are using the IO object IO means input output ok uh, and system dot data finally system dot data why we are using the system dot data system dot data we are most of common uh, programmers we are using using that you want to call the data set or data table that time you need to declare the system dot data ok first what we what we do we need to create one folder in projects data we create the right click and click new folder and rename it to any name as per wish any name you have to give here I am giving data ok and go to webconfig you have to add a key file app setting file so I am adding a key equal to file path and value is uh, uh, tilt tilt symbol 
and slash data so I am calling this data here so my folder name I am mentioning likewise so my folder name I am mentioning likewise so add key file path and value equal to uh, tilt and data slash so this is the code we have to place into under the configuration section in web config so that files I am that files I am calling here so system string dot file path equal to configuration dot app settings dot file path file path means this is the name key name we are calling the key name here okay now uh, we are declaring file name is string empty we are passing the assigning the empty character by default as file order file to server as file it will check the file is uh, if upload or not it will check only we are allowing dot xlx xlx means uh, is a 2003 format and xlsx is mean under the 2007 format we are using and get the file name of the uh, file extension we will get the file extension from the uh, file uploader after that once file extension is valid we are checking the valid means it will dot xls or dot xlsx so we are checking here once is condition is true then it will stored here true okay now uh, uh, now I will explain both details right now first I need to create one excel file here I need to create one excel file here just I already created dot xlx file I open the excel x excel file here I am giving the name to id and name age here I am John any name I will add 0045 and you have to give any name here just yes, I am saving so I am giving the name book 1 dot xlx I placed into my test of here now I am try to run the code here try to run the code here so first I am putting the debug mode here and run the project I am trying to choose a file and choose book dot one <coughs> and click upload file it will go to the debug mode here so I am getting the file path here file path F10 you have to press the F10 key so file path is data so we are already declared in a, uh, our web config file for the uh, until to data now I am declaring the new character a new string the string should be in empty we are declaring so I am getting the as file as file means once is the file is uploaded or not uh, upload if the path is valid or not we are checking to uh, file upload to server this is the file upload to server we are calling here now is uh, correct then it will come now I am giving the extension for the allowed file so uh, it will stored in only it will accept dot xlx or dot xlsx why we are declaring further uh, further we will discuss about that so now I am checking is a valid or not we already get the file extension here so the extension is dot xlx so I am checking the uh, allowed file contains uh, file dot x allowed file I already declared only contains dot xlx and dot xlsx this is uh, file extension is uh, xlx so it will be allowed that means here comes true so is valid true so once is a true it will comes else part here now file size I am getting the file size uh, into int so file size I am getting right now 8365 kbs okay now here I am only uploading the uh, equal to 1 MB or less than uh, less than 1 MB so 1 MB size is this is so I am checking the content is contained it will come here inside or else it will come here it will showing the message for message I LBL message LBL message 
this is the LBL message where LBL message here the error will be showing attach files uh, file size should be not greater than 1 MB it will showing the error so uh, once the condition is true so it will come inside now I am getting the file path from for uh, file path from the server name here so F10 so I am getting the file name exact file name from getting the file path okay now I am trying to upload the file time to upload the file savers savers meaning uh, it will saved into this data section so click F10 so it will saved into this data section once you have to refresh here see it will saved here right now okay now I am going to click the OL, OLB connection here creating connections here file extension dot xlx it will the create the connections for z4.0 we are excel uh, 2003 our provider will support only jet uh, microsoft jet oldb dot 4.0 but more than uh, 2003 it will support only microsoft ace olb 12 and uh, and more so uh, that's why we are using uh, checking the extensions here now I go it will come here the OLB connection is created now I am open the connection here <laughs> now get the <coughs> OLDB schema styles table now I am getting the tables here so so how many uh, sheets will be how many tables will be is there it will be checking that now we are return the excel file is sheet 1 so it will getting the values from the sheet 1 right now ok F10 now I am getting the values from table name the sheet name is sheet, sheet 1 now I am getting the only sheet 1 so I am writing the queries command for select star from uh, sheet 1 likewise we are getting the query so you want to see the queries just go to click here so see this is the query we are passing select star from sheet 1 so we are getting the sheet one here now we are declaring data set and fill the records to the this data set here now we have to see the data set data set you will saw the values so what the values we are written you know that values should be showing here now I am passing the values to that particular data grid view so data grid view we already declared here so we are passing the values data source we are setting the data source to data set and bind so now it created successfully ok now I press F10 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 and F10 now we, we are showing the values here ok guys we will meet on next tutorial by see you later